Hey Aries, hey boo, hey. Welcome to another message with me, the Divination Duchess. We're about to find out all the good these, the good goodies that you need to know. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here, Spirit. Give us the 411 for Aries. So we're starting off with a four of coins. Okay. Oh, for so some of you might be getting a little cash, maybe paying for something, buying something. Let's go ahead and find out. Let's find some more information here. What's going on? The star. Okay. <laughs> I am liking this energy. The four of cups. Uh-huh. 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 And the nine of wands. So spirit is saying, Aries, that you are about to step into an opportunity that you have slept on in the past. OK, or you are about to start being hopeful and inspired here to fight for something. It's like and I feel like this has to do with your material abundance or success or something that you're holding on to here. But it's like you're getting your hope back is what I'm getting. OK, you're getting your sense of power back. You're getting your sense of trust or faith back here because I feel like there was an opportunity that has been lingering in the air or that may be presenting itself, but you've been sleeping on it. And I feel like you were sleeping on it because of a lack of hope or a lack of feeling that it could work or that it's something that could be in alignment with you. Just like, mm, well, I don't know. Like, it sounds good in theory. You know what I'm saying? Or it sounds good if I can have all these other things first. Or, you know, it's like this element of feeling like, yeah, the opportunity was there, but you may be seeing more obstacles or more problems or just feeling maybe you don't got the energy of the time. And so there was more of this kind of sleeping on it. But now... You're getting into this energy in the nine of wands here, which is you becoming more officially like, let me work towards this. Let me hold on to this opportunity. Let me see where this opportunity could take me away. OK, or could help me could, you know, help my growth in some way. Tell us more here for Aries. What's going on? We got a seven of wands. I love this here. <laughs> The seven of wands and the nine of wands is always a dynamic duo here for me because it looks like you're really fighting for this. So where you at first were just like, uh, well, I don't really know. Now it's like, you know what? I do know. I really know. And this is something that I have to fight for. This is something that I have to protect. It's like that get rich or die trying type energy, that 50 cent type energy. Okay. It's like, there's something here where you're like, you know what? I know it may not seem sensible, reasonable. It may not really make sense, but I'm going to do this because I feel like this is something that's really going to benefit me. Okay. Knight of Cups. Yes. So you're definitely bringing offerings in with this attitude, with the way that you're handling this situation. There's definitely some offerings coming in here for you, Aries. OK, so let's get more about these offerings. What offerings are coming in here? Seven of Swords. Mm, is she here? What's this about? What's this about? And a Ten of Cups. OK, OK. Okay, so Spirit is saying here that there's this, there's going to be this need for you to really be smart about the opportunities you're stepping into. Okay, so there's this element of you knowing now, you know, there's, there's this element of me being able to step into different types of opportunities and allow things to flow in. But I feel like there's still this element of being careful here because I feel like there's certain people in your life or certain opportunities that come in more as a facade. Okay. And so it's like, I feel like with this here, it's like, you're no longer sleeping on good opportunities and you're turning your back on those opportunities that are really a facade, right? And so I'm hearing from spirit to keep that momentum going, okay? If something seems too good to be true or if it seems like someone's dangling a carrot or like the opportunity don't make sense, those are the ones that you should be shying away from. And the ones that really speak to your heart are the ones that you should be moving towards, yeah, we got a struggle here. Five of Wands, a power struggle. I feel like there's, I feel like Spirit is saying here that just as quick as you start focusing on opening yourself up to this opportunity and knowing that you deserve the blessing, there's going to be some sort of friction coming in. So I feel like a counter opportunity that could be very distractive. Uh, maybe somebody coming in to tell you that you shouldn't go in that direction. That's not what you should do, that they think you should do something else. There's some sort of distraction. There's this element of someone or something trying to come in and mess this opportunity up. 
And for some of you, it's like in the past, this has already happened. That's what led you to sleep on it already. But I feel like something else is about to happen. Okay. Um, there's something here that's going to try to deter you or pull you away from this, but it's in your heart space deep down inside, you know what you need to do. Yes. You know what you need to do here. So we got rest and rejuvenate. Tell us more here for Aries. We got stability magnet. Tell us more here for Aries. We got old acquaintance. One more here. And risky business. So that's what it is. So there's there's a certain um, opportunity that's coming in. For you, Aries, it's all about different opportunities coming in. Okay. There's some sort of opportunity coming in where it seems a little bit risky. And is this, I mean, what you got to tell us about the riskiness here? Yeah, there's lies. There's deception. It's, it's, that's that seven of swords we were seeing. So it's like spirit is saying here that there's already something in the midst that you know you should be going towards and not sleeping on. But in the same time, there's some sort of decoy or some sort of distraction that's trying to come in to keep you off your path. Okay, I'm hearing that the devil is a lie. So there's somebody coming in here with a lie or with some sort of devilish energy here to try to distract you from your actual stability and try to get you to rest on that stability. Okay, so I feel like this could be a person or institution. This could be like, say you decide you quit your job because this has happened to me in the past. You know, I'm like, you know what? I'm about to quit this damn job and I'm tired of y'all and I give my 30 day notice. You get what I'm saying? And then they start begging and giving all these promises of what they going to do, but they ain't about to do a thing. Okay, they're not about to do a damn thing. So this is the kind of energy I'm getting here. OK, or maybe there's an opportunity, you know, in love and there's a new opportunity. But now an old, an old person wants to come in and try to act like they the one who's offering opportunity. But it's BS. It's nothing but garbage. So, Aries, it's important for you to keep your eyes open, honey. OK, because there's two, at least two opportunities on it. On, on on the brink here one is definitely the right direction and one is definitely the wrong direction the more riskier direction now either which way spirit is saying you will get back around to bigger and brighter things but why take the, the long road why take the depressing and stressful road so you are being you know pushed to take the road that's easier you get what i'm saying healthier happier what more does aries need to know here Communication. So there's a lot of doorways opening for you here, and it may have to do with communicating with a certain group or talking with certain people, building the right connections. Mm. Again, now I see enemies, enemies in sheep's clothing. Again, there's people, Aries, that's coming through to try to tell you they communicate, and there's some doorways being open, but it's not, honey. It's not okay. So say you really are focused on something. It's like spirit is, is warning you, Aries, trust your heart because your heart is leading you to abundance. Your heart is leading you to flourishing. Yeah, but it's like somehow I feel like there's a faux offer, a faux opportunity in here and it seems easier. And that's why we got who said life was easy. It seems easier or it seems like more of a guarantee, more of a shoe in. Right. So it's almost like this vibe of say there's this opportunity for you really to start your business or to focus on growing your business or something. But it's so difficult. There's people in your ear be like, you should just quit. You know, look at the economy. You know, you need to just go back to work. And and that's the easier route. You get that guaranteed check. You know, I feel like it's that vibe of people just kind of running their mouth and telling you what you should do. Or like if there's a connection that may seem, you know, new and a little bit scary, they would encourage you to hold on to the other one because it's more st stable. It's like this energy of, of somebody coming in it could be some advice too um from friends and, and family people thinking they know it all but they don't know a damn thing here but it's 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 the mist here of there's there's goodness waiting for you but there is some sort of distraction you're gonna really need to follow your intuition aries what did i just say what did I just say? You're going to have to follow your intuition, Aries. You're going to have to use discernment right now, Aries. Unfortunately, there's people after you right now. There's people that want to distract you. There's people that want to lead you in the wrong direction. There's people that want to block your opportunities. I hate to say it, but it's just what's coming out. Okay, so right now, you using your discernment is critical. It's absolutely necessary to 
look, because people are trying to distract you again. People are telling you things. They're communicating things that are lies. Okay. And this could be what it is to distract you from your real opportunity. I'm here and stop running from your real opportunity. Stop believing the lies, Aries. Okay. Go towards your opportunities. They're there waiting for you. They're there waiting for you. Okay. Tell us more here for Aries. What's going on here? A four of coins again. We got a double four of coins. So again, there's like there's this opportunity here <laughs> that brings stability, brings happiness. It's the world. It brings completion, a cycle. Okay. It's there for you. It's there for the picking. Yes, yes, yes. It's there for the picking. But you have to fight for it. Nine of Wands again. Okay. You have to fight for it. You have to defend this dream. So, for example, okay. If you have a certain dream or connection or whatever that you really love and it really means the world to you, but whenever you talk about it with other people, they got something negative to say. They got all these questions to ask to try to find some sort of hole in your plan. Any of that type of energy, we got to keep that quiet. Don't tell nobody. Keep it to yourself. Hold on to your stuff tightly because there's others trying to distract you. Yeah, trying to get in your head. This moon energy confuse you. They're trying to get in your head. They're trying to confuse you. They're trying to distract you. No, we're not doing it, Aries. We're not doing it. For some of you, these people are extremely passionate here about distracting you. This King of Wands, this is somebody that's ready to <laughs> wreak some havoc quickly, okay? Running their mouth, doing anything, saying anything. Just I feel like this person is like word vomit. They don't even think. They just say and do and move and shake. Ugh, ugh. Oh, Aries. Oh, no. You 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 got something to deal with, but you tough. You got it. Tell us more here. What does Aries need to know? Self-reflection. I love it. So you're focused within. I hear you not even focus on these dummies out here. All these people that's trying to pull a fast one that's trying to your discernment is on point. You're reflecting on what it is that you deserve. You're turning in. And this is bringing you unexpected changes. I love this. Okay, so there's unexpected changes coming in for you, Aries, because you're turning in, because you're not feeding into this drama, because you're not allowing people to taint your mind, taint your thought process, lead you in the wrong direction. Yeah, you're going in the way to which you know the blueprint too. You know the blueprint and direction you're going. And so therefore, there's a great creative force. There's a great abundance. There's a great overflow coming here based off of you trusting and going in that direction and not being deterred. Tell us more here for Aries. Tell us more. We got here. It's all about you. Yes, exactly. It's a time of self-love, focus, nurturing yourself, pampering yourself. If it doesn't put a smile on your face, you're not dealing with it. We got indulgence, greed, selfishness, lust. Yeah, you taking care of you, Aries. It's like, you know what? I know everybody got opinions, thoughts, feelings, but I really don't care. That's where you at. I'm loving this energy. Okay, apple spice, talk, talking, communication, discuss. You're like anybody can vomit and word vomit, whatever they want. And I'm going to let them know right now I'm focused on me. I'm focused on what's important to me. I'm focused on my life. I'm focused on my happiness. I feel like you're very unapologetic, Aries. Okay? You're very unapologetic. You don't care. You don't care at all. Yeah, and this is because you believe in yourself. This is because you believe in God. You believe in source. And so this is where you get great gifts. Yes. There's blessings. There's opportunities coming in because you believe, because you trust, because you stay on your pathway here. And you don't allow others to try to use that little, they trying to use some sleep dust on you because they, they in fear of where they're going to be when you step into this opportunity. You like the sleep dust ain't working, baby. I resist it. Okay. I'm believing I'm trusting and I'm receiving my divinely um, guided gifts that I'm supposed to receive beautiful energy. All right, Aries, please like share, subscribe, comment. All of your support is greatly appreciated. Sending your love, light and blessings. And I'll be talking to you later, boo. Bye.